finding out about members' top concerns. The biggest things are holding meetings and also just being present so people know who you are and when they can get hold of you. Mostly I call meetings and during that meetings I make it an open forum where people can bring, bring issues that are really of concern to them. And that's been really helpful to some of my members. I usually meet with my members every half term. We have meetings, we discuss major concerns and they can pop and see me any time they want to sort of thrash out concerns, um, to raise concerns for agenda items. I'll also survey members as well if there's any burning um, problems going on in the school. So surveying my members gives me that hard evidence that I can go back to the leadership team with to show them the major concerns of my membership. The best way to prepare for a meeting with the head is to make sure that you are clear on your agenda points, the issues that were discussed by members. You make sure to make a formal meeting with the head teacher so that you are doing justice to the respect that you should give and the respect that they should give to the membership's concerns. A really important thing about after a meeting is to uh, feed back to your members, whether you send out uh, an email with the minutes, hold a follow-up meeting to talk to members and talk them through what happened, or um, if you've just got like a bulletin board uh, in your school, just pin your notes up so that people can read them if they want to. Um, but yeah, it's really important to feed back to members what's happening because otherwise they can become quite disillusioned with the process and how it works. If the head teacher is not being cooperative with members' concerns, especially if these concerns are very reasonable, they've been voted in by the membership, the best thing to do is seek support from your divisional secretary. Not only can they put you as a rep on many training courses, they also have a role to play in negotiations with the head teacher and also with the local authority. When the head teachers don't always agree with you and they're not willing to sort of listen to my membership, it is difficult. The first thing I would do is survey my members with questions that they want answered. And then that evidence can be taken to the head teacher because if I have the hard evidence, then the, the head teacher can't deny the truth of what the problem is. And that is when they sometimes back down and then look at resolution with you. If we get to a point where the head is not willing to discuss this, then I do need to escalate it. I go and see my branch secretary and then we discuss about whether we need to go into a dispute with the head teacher about our concerns.